We're kicking off the uh, the Hampshire offering here with 33-5, and this one originates uh, from the Drake firm in Indiana. Uh, I've got a lot of a lot of admiration for the Drake for the Drake firm, and it's it's mostly because of personal experience. Um, since the very beginning, I bought uh, the first Hampshire females uh, when I restarted Highland Hampshire's back in 2006, and uh, I bought a Hampshire female from from Daryl there at the Indiana State Fair in the in August of 2006, and and uh, to be honest, I, I've tried to buy females whenever we had room and I had the funds and we had the opportunity uh, from Daryl ever since. And 33-5, uh, this sow represents, um, represents that effort. Um, she really represents uh, a relationship of, of buying females from, from the Drake firm because I know they'll work. And uh, I know they'll work in the crate. I know they'll work in, in our production system. And I know they'll out generate themselves uh, phenotypically, and this one's a great example of that. Uh, this one came in a group of four. I bought four bread gilts in one of their auctions, uh, bought her and 33.7. 33.7, her sister would be the mother of the Hampshire gilt that was champion Hampshire and third overall at o Ohio State Fair last summer. Uh, that was a thousand dollar baby gilt that we sold online. Uh, the Dalton family bought her uh, for a thousand dollars, showed that gilt quite a bit last summer. She ended up champion Hampshire third overall at Ohio, and um, I understand they've made a really nice Hampshire sow out of her, and they're they're anxious to get her litter, and I think that's a success story that matters uh, as we talk about this sow and talk about the buyer opportunity here. Um, she's out of sustain, which is a brink bore that, uh, that Daryl used. Uh, Bush League is in her pedigree, and, and anything that we've had here that had Bush League in the, in the pedigree uh, has been good. Uh, they've been good Hampshires to work with. Uh, I think the neatest part about the opportunity here is that we used frozen Top Gun semen to mate this one. And, uh, you know, as the, as the business has spun around Top Gun, uh, the breed in particular has spun around Top Gun pretty tight here the last few years. Uh, obviously, this sow doesn't have any in her pedigree. Uh, felt like this was a unique spot to use it. And uh, I'm really excited about the buyer opportunity here uh, to grab a hold of a, of a Hampshire sow that will do her job. Uh, the spread to Top Gun, uh, you know, I would argue has been the most influential Hampshire borer of the last several years. And uh, I think this is a great opportunity for a Hampshire enthusiast to tie into one uh, with a lot of promise. So uh, my hat's off to Daryl and the crew at Drake Purebred Farm for what they continue to do uh, in our business. Uh, we are fans. I'm a fan. And this sow uh, really, really exemplifies my admiration for their program. Uh, she's bred to Top Gun. She's due the 17th of November. This is lot 33, 33-5.